In Tampa, you won't be able to miss Busch Gardens' latest attraction, from the new pyramid by the front entrance to the awesome sprawl of the world's longest and tallest inverted roller coaster. It's all a part of Egypt, a seven-acre addition that opens to the public Thursday. But what does a fake sarcophagus have to do with a real one inside a museum? I think Egypt is a land of mystery, tying in the natural artifacts with the museum and the, uh, the uniqueness of, of Egypt of Busch Gardens as a natural. And you could use the boost right about now. Sure we can. At the museum, officials concede sluggish ticket sales. Ironically, the way they tell it, Busch Gardens wanted to capitalize on Egyptian excitement created by the Splendors display. Now it's the museum looking forward to combined forces. We actually went into production with them uh, with certain collateral pieces and did mailings with them to corporations all over the Northeast. Examples of the joint effort? Packages offering tickets to both attractions, including overnight accommodations in between. And some consumers may make the connection on their own. For example, at Bush's Egypt, children will root around in this sand pit for souvenir artifacts perhaps stirring an interest in real artifacts at the museum.